Well, cross your fingers. I hope she starts. All right, she started right up. I had real, grew a great uh, oil pressure, uh, but I see a little, I think a little transmission fluid drip here, so I must shut down and uh, take care of that. All right, here we go for trial two. Uh, I think I got the uh, transmission uh, leak. It's just a matter of tightening up a clamp there. And uh, now I went ahead and uh, I've got my OBD2 reader connected up, which uh, feeds into my iPad here. Um, so far, all I can see is uh, coolant temperature, and it is pretty nice here today. It's about 63 degrees, and uh, this should give me the engine RPM. And then I, uh, I've got an oil pressure uh, sensor on the uh, inside of the car. So uh, let's let's see what happens. <laughs> a lot less clicks than uh, the other motor or the you know before I did the rebuild Northern Ohio Chevelle Club by uh, the 66 Chevelle with the L99 LS3 version, all aluminum, V8 is running. She's a gurgling because she's uh, just got done with her break-in, but uh, I don't have any, I got a little bit of radiator overflow. Uh, I think she still needs to burp a little bit, but that's okay. Um, I'm pretty happy. The oil pressure is it's at 40 to 50 PSI, somewhere in there, but I do see it drop a little bit when it goes to idle. Not too happy about that, but uh, we'll, we'll see as, uh, you know, we'll, we'll take, uh, I think I'll do an oil change real quick on this. I won't leave that break-in oil in too long because I want to get a look at it and see how it looks. And, but uh, yeah, I'm pretty happy. I mean, it revs, it revs right up, it starts right up. Didn't have any problems there. Uh, so this journey, I hope, is complete. Uh, I don't have the hood on yet, but we will. I'll drive it around the block without the hood hood on. Uh, I got to get some uh, people over here to help me with the hood. Hint, hint, Josh Meldrum. Maybe you come over and help me. 
Maybe bring that baby with you so I can see my grandbaby. But uh, anyway, that's it. All right, well, we got her around the block on this uh, real fine spring day, probably about 63 degrees. And uh, it's, it's running pretty good. The acceleration is phenomenal on this thing. Definitely better than before. But uh, transmission's not getting into uh, the higher end gears. So uh, we got to get that figured out. Might be just, uh, last time it was just a loose connector. So we'll get that figured out. And then uh, as far as the series go, I think we're up to number 13, uh, putting this motor back together. Uh, quite a journey. And uh, I'll, uh, I'll probably work on a price breakdown for, uh, hey, what's it take to uh, rebuild one of these uh, L99, LS3, all aluminum Gen 4 blocks. So Mark Meldrum, Meldrum's Monster Garage, see ya!